Amid the uncertainty and anxiety caused by King Charles' recent shock diagnosis, a surprise announcement has emerged, His Majesty intends to pay an official visit to Australia later this year. The visit is of major historical significance, it will be the first time since 2011 that the reigning monarch will set foot on Australian soil, as confirmed by Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese. News of King Charles' upcoming visit has caused a flurry of anticipation and preparations across the continent, with government officials and citizens alike eagerly awaiting the opportunity to welcome the monarch. Prime Minister Albanese expressed Australia's willingness and enthusiasm to host His Majesty, emphasizing the importance of the visit in strengthening ties between the two countries. In his statement, Prime Minister Albanese noted the King's continued compassion and support for the Australian people, especially in the wake of the recent natural disasters that have hit the country. The monarch's gesture of solidarity resonated deeply with Australians, who responded with sympathy and solidarity in light of His Majesty's own health problems. The prospect of King Charles' visit serves as a beacon of hope and unity for both the Australian people and the Commonwealth community. It symbolizes a reaffirmation of the strong bond between Australia and the monarchy, transcending geographical distances and reaffirming the shared values and heritage that bind them together. As preparations for the royal visit grow, anticipation is building and the itinerary and logistics associated with this momentous occasion are increasingly being discussed. From grand receptions to public meetings, the visit promises to be an unforgettable and important chapter in Australia's history, marking a new era of diplomatic relations and mutual respect. Amidst the challenges and uncertainties of the present moment, The prospect of King Charles' visit offers a glimmer of optimism and unity, reminding us of the strength of the bonds that unite nations and monarchs around the world. Buckingham Palace has yet to confirm its plans, but royal sources say the trip is likely to take place in October and possibly coincide with a visit to New Zealand. The prospect of welcoming the King, Queen and other members of the royal family to Australia has generated excitement and a sense of anticipation among Australians, who are eager to extend their warm hospitality to the monarchs. Despite his ongoing treatment, King Charles remains actively engaged in his duties, albeit behind the scenes, working hard on government documents and other public affairs. Although he may not participate in public events during this period, The monarch's commitment to his duties emphasizes his dedication to serving his people, even despite his health problems. In King Charles' absence, other members of the royal family have additional responsibilities. In particular, Queen Camilla has taken on a more prominent role, working closely with the Prince of Wales to ensure that royal duties and activities run smoothly. Their joint efforts reflect the resilience and ability of the royal family to adapt to difficulties and transitions. As preparations for a potential visit to Australia and New Zealand gather momentum, Australians have expressed genuine warmth and hospitality. The confirmation that the King, Queen and members of the royal family are always welcome in Australia emphasizes the strong bond between the two countries and the deep respect and admiration felt for the monarchy. Although Buckingham Palace has yet to give official confirmation, the prospect of a royal visit has already generated anticipation and excitement across Australia, with residents eagerly awaiting the opportunity to extend a warm welcome to their royal guests. As details of the trip unfold over the coming months, the anticipation and excitement will undoubtedly reach new heights and culminate in an unforgettable and historic event for all involved. Amid the uncertainty surrounding the health of King Charles and Princess of Wales, there has been a glimmer of hope and expectation in the latest news from Kensington Palace. The news that the princess will return to her royal duties after Easter was a welcome development, signaling a possible turning point in her recovery. The princess's recent absence from public events has caused widespread speculation and concern among royal watchers, 
especially in light of the mysterious abdominal surgery she underwent earlier this year. Details of her condition still remain secret, fueling rumors and speculation about the severity of her illness. The fact that the king and the princess were treated at the same hospital has only heightened the intrigue surrounding their health problems. It's a stark reminder of the fragility of life, even for members of the royal family who are usually shielded from prying eyes. Now, as the princess prepares to return to her royal duties, there is a cautious optimism among fans of the royal family that is tempered, however, by a sense of concern for her well-being. The palace's assurances that she will return to her official duties are a hopeful sign that she is on the road to recovery. Meanwhile, the royal's absence from public events during her treatment emphasizes the royal family's resilience and dedication. Despite his health challenges, his majesty continues to fulfill his duties behind the scenes, working hard on public affairs and fulfilling his responsibilities to the crown. In the midst of these health challenges, the royal family has rallied together, with the Queen taking on additional responsibilities alongside the Prince of Wales. Their unwavering commitment to their duties and to each other is a testament to the strength and unity of the monarchy in the face of adversity. As the princess prepares to return to society, there is a sense of anticipation and hope for brighter days ahead. Her resilience and determination in the face of adversity serves as an inspiration to us all, reminding us of the power of perseverance and the importance of maintaining hope in the face of uncertainty.